This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hello my lovely Ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today I'm going to give you a tour of my studio. Next week we're going to do a tour of the book room, which is also the room where I store my miniatures. So that is going to have to wait for another week. However, I hope you enjoy this very long video where we will go through every single thing in my craft room. So let's go. Welcome to the studio. This is normally where the husband sits. He has a green screen, which is just some simple fabric. Um, so he can stream over there. And then when we go over here, we have this candelabra that we still have left over from our wedding, which is one of many. I think we have about seven of them. And then we have the bin with cardboard. That's where I store everything. And also egg cartons, as you can see and some other bits and pieces related to paper. I'll just give you a quick overview for those of you that just want to see what my studio looks like. A cart, a cart. I have three carts. There's the other one. And this is where I do all my editing and filming and this is my workspace. So that's what you see. And this is what I see. <laughs> this is my PC, it sits behind here, but uh, this screen is in front of it to reduce noise whilst recording voiceovers. And uh, yeah, so if this is all you're here for, uh, then um, this is my studio and that's all there's to it. I also have a book room, which is where I store my miniatures. I will put all the timestamps in the video description and uh, you can uh, skip forward or backwards from there. So let's now get into all of these drawers, every single thing. Let's go through them and uh, explore with me. Let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and there are always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. There are subjects like watercolors and graphic design to polymer clay and crochet. I have recently come across a class by KW Professional Organizers. They will teach you how to develop productive habits that reinforce this new way of living. So it's a lifelong investment for your time spent learning. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Let's get back to the video. So like I said, this is the uh, cardboard egg carton box so whatever we get from takeouts or packaging most of the stuff i'll keep this was a cover of a takeout container egg cartons cereal boxes uh, cork mats that i got from ikea this is my trolley where i keep my journaling stuff as well as there as well as many other places but this is what i'm currently working on so this is cut up papers and folded signatures for journals that I make. So this will be a dragon one. I put them in little baggies and then I just work on them whenever I can. So in between projects and all of them are stored in these little baggies. And uh, I think there's a dragon, there's pirate, there's some medieval stuff in there some tarot gypsy stuff vintage mm, edgar Allan poe gothic romans 
And this is what I printed from Danny from Wizardry Workshop. I wanted to make my own book cover and insert journal with this and then put it in my bookcase, but I haven't done it yet. This is a thing I picked up from the dollar store for a couple of bucks. Um, I thought it was cool with the elephants on top. I'll do something with it, make a new journal out of it. In here we have journaling hardware ephemera embellishments. So we have some skulls, we have some Tim Holtz dolls, we have some tassels, domino bricks, things. That's from an old domino game. Some hardware stuff, flowers. You can basically put this on a journal and it says journal or diary or something like that. Same for these. If you don't, don't know what to do with old keys, just send them to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cabochons and embellishments that I've picked up over the years. So everything that you see in this room is not like bought in a week. It's built up over many, many years. In here we have more journaling things. We have mugs. Um, so pins, more embellishments, bells, metal embellishments, wood, keys and locks, paper clips, pegs. And then in here is less exciting because that's just embroidery thread. And I have two boxes of those. Then if we go one tier lower, we have the journal I'm working on currently, which I'm filming for my second channel, but it's going a bit slow because I don't have much time, but it is a monster of a journal that was an old dictionary. And those are the the signatures that go in. There are four signatures, which I just need to bind and then embellish. And all that kind of fun stuff, but, you know, time. And these are uh, fabrics that I'm going to use inside. I found the cool leaves that I'll use inside as well. And just bits and bobs that will go in as well. So... That is a journal I'm currently working on. Then next to that is some tags that I made. I'm just keeping that in an old yogurt tub. And some notebooks that I picked up at dollar stores, or not dollar stores, thrift stores, I should say, because most of them are 50 cents. 50 cents. Um, and they're good for paper. So moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next layer. We were there, now going down there. These are the papers I use for my matchboxes. So this is three 230 GSM paper, 50 sheets, and they were going out of stock and they were five bucks for a pack of 50. So that's a really good price. So I got a few of those. So there's two of those there. And then they had some white paper as well. Might as well. So got a few of those. A whole bunch of envelopes in here. These are all envelopes and cards. And then there's this book that I recently got from a friend. Thank you, Kristen. This is amazing. This is full with old stickers that I can use in journals. So that's incredible. And then in here I have some pre-made tags and little envelopes and that kind of stuff for travel journals. Now I haven't been making a lot of travel journals because we can't really travel right now. And then we have some tubs in here that have a lot of ephemera. So that's it for this trolley. Moving on to this cart. And what's on top of it? So what's on top of it is how I store my cut up papers. I just put them on their side for convenience sake. This is what it looks like inside all of them. Uh, it's just cut up papers and bits and pieces. So whenever I work or have worked on a project, all cut up pieces will end in here. And at some point I'll probably pick it up and say, hey, I need to make a journal out of just this stuff. <laughs> and then um, I've got another stash of paper to work with that I haven't seen for years. Perhaps I should do some stash burning series on my second channel or something like that to get through that. Spines. Well, there's a bit more than spines in here. I've put some face masks in here that are too small, but they can probably be used for kids at some point. Um, I'm just keeping them just in case. Um, yeah, I like this pattern, so I am. Um, I just kept them. So what I'm putting here is basically off cuts of 
cereal boxes because I use these for spines but also for of chipboard but they're perfect for spines this says watercolor books so this is paper that I use for little watercolor books there's also just some watercolor paper in there that I sometimes use and at some point I made a box with watercolor sheets in there don't know what I was thinking and what I was going to use it for but clips and punches so paper clips ring clip things more paper clips are made with a piece of paper on top so you can make tabs punches that i frequently use also for miniatures pick that one up at a thrift store for a dollar i think and the next one we have chipboard and sentiments this is where i keep these kind of things so this one i just recently received from Kristen, and this one i recently received from Kathleen Eubanks. Thank you, Kathleen. I'm really, really grateful for that. And there's more ephemera there. There's chipboard there. What's this? This is what I received from my friend Jen. They're clear pockets. More embellishments from Jen. The next one has cards. So this drawer is basically just all kinds of playing cards. Journaling cards. Alice in Wonderland, Harry Potter. Um, tarot cards, the odd cards here and there, bits and bobs, round cards, really cool, Alice in Wonderland cards, One of my favorite artists, Nicoletta Sicoli, I think you say it like that, beautiful art, um, small playing cards, tarot cards, oops, this up at a thrift store for a couple of dollars. This is another one of Jen sent me, and there's like more of that kind of stuff in there. By the way, I absolutely hate this set of drawers because the plastic catches on the metal and it, it just chips off. But it will do for now. This drawer has paper rolls that I created myself that I can use as embellishment in journals, stamps that I used and washi tapes that I received from my Jen, friend Jen. They are just individual little stamps that are really cool. All kinds of imagery in there. This one has tea bags, stickers and doilies and some stamps too because I have no idea where else to put them. Stickers from my friend Jen. Tea bags stickers and more stickers underneath there so before i did the thing with all these drawers for my journaling stuff everything was everywhere just in a box and i could never find anything so having everything by category is great napkins and tissue paper there is more where this came from so these are just the napkins that i have of individual napkins but i have four packs This is where I store those and something holds what is it? Collage paper. That's what he calls it. Okay. This is well, this used to be a lace drawer. My lace drawer is over there now, which I will show you in not too long. These are things I'm working on currently for other journals. And this was gonna be a green journal that I was gonna make for what would you be if you were a journal? But I couldn't decide what I wanted to make, so I made two vintage kind of journals that are on my second channel and this drawer has some elastic for journals some smaller elastic for uh, masks that i used to make i sometimes make masks for my friends um if they need any or pandemic outbreak i made a couple of masks back then a couple of months ago when there was another outbreak so let's move on to this uh thing let's start at the bottom shall we this is my drawer with paper and with paper I mean paper you can draw and sketch on. I have a variety of sketchbooks here. Don't think I need any new ones in any great rush. Also my watercolor paper is in there. Let's see, this is one of my handmade journals. Well, sketchbooks. This is an Archiza one. 
and this is watercolor papers. Watercolor papers, I bought them all on special. And uh, some B paper and other papers are received from Smart Art, I think, as well in there. And then there's some larger size papers over there. So that's this drawer. It's very heavy. That's why it sits at the bottom. This little cubby has a mix of things. This is my art. So I'm not great at keeping my artwork. But this is basically all the, the potion bottles and the bits and bobs that I am proud of. So that is what I'm keeping. And this is an A5 journal, which is the size I work in most often. Well, it's not a journal, it's a, it's a folder. So there's that. And then in here, there's just little bits and bobs, like old artwork that I'm like, whatever about so i don't want to throw anything out but um it's uh it lives in here and then in there it has old pencils in there that i don't really want to throw out this one has dremel stuff in there and that is the box for my pasta machine which i also don't want to throw out it has some bits and bobs in there that i can that are attachments for the pasta machine and also the thing is kind of clunky and heavy, so if I ever need to move, I still have the box. I don't do that with all my stuff, by the way. Drawers. Okay, I'm pretty sure these two are empty. And this one has a whole bunch of markers in it. Do I have a do marker art? No, not really. But um, I can always try, of course. This is a... I, I won't take them out because I will not be able to get it back in. This ELO sketchbook marker set I got from my friend, Caitlin. Pixie sticks, and I still have to do a project with that on my second channel. Then underneath here is a roll up folder thing with, I think there's about 30, 30 uh, markers in there from Typo, that's a shop here in Australia. And these markers are all random ones. So I've got some um, Montmartre, I've got some Crayola, we have some. Uh, Spectrum of Noir, Enco, which is Kmart. And what else have we got in here? Artist Touch. So yeah, all kinds of stuff, markers. These drawers, this one has all my inks. So I have a lot of ink because I got a Dr. PH Martin's drawing ink set last year for Inktober, which <laughs> I love inks, but I didn't use it as much because I turned into um, miniatures, making miniatures for Inktober last year, halfway through. And then we have the aqua inks as well, some masking fluid, pretty, pretty quills. And this drawer has my gouache Arteza set that I still need to make something with. A acrylic gouache set that I got from Pixie Sticks, the RT Art not Arteza Artex gouache sets. There's two of them in here. I did do a review on that on my second channel. Mm, art Spectrum Fine Artist gouache. So this one, this is a brand new set. It was ten dollars at the thrift store. Normally you pay between fifty and seventy dollars new here. And I've got an iron like basic wash color set. It's upside down, I know. <clears throat> uh, still need to try that. This was in a box Jen sent me. And here we have some glass paint. So with SmartArt, I um, collected some points and I ordered a box with glass paint so I can use that for my miniatures and dioramas because I've never been able to find a good set for glass art or. Um, acetate sheets so i ordered that set moving on to the drawers above it watercolors this is my just recently redone watercolor drawer and here we have more watercolors we'll get to that in a moment so here are some cups that i really liked i actually got them from a um a hardware store i really really wanted to show you this because these are trays that you can get at Ikea for $1 and they are bathroom trays. So they stack 
And all my watercolors are just sitting in there now. All my big sets. It takes up less space. But yeah, that's that's how I keep my watercolors. And if I just want to work with one set, I just take one tray or grab the whole lot. Then these are the Primo Marketing Art Philosophy palettes. But I want to keep in their tins because they are a certain collection of colors. Some of them have some overlap with colors in the tins. Not much though. So what do we have? The Essence, Vintage Pastels, Currents, Complexion, Let's change Davenport, Decadent Pies, Self Mix, Insert Newton Palette. Jane Davenport, it is very bright. There we go. It's just sitting in a clear tub here so it doesn't fall over. Then this is a 12 color shimmer set. And this is a set of these colors. And these are paints from Poland. So as you can see, I have a lot of plans for my second channel as well, but I need time. Time, time, time. This is the Derwent Graphic Tint set. These are the Derwent Ink Tense Sticks. This is a muted set, Japanese color by Boku Undu or Unu. Boku Shadow Black, Boku Undu. And this set I got from uh, Scribble Fix when we did a collaboration. This drawer, I just recently did swatches of the paints I hadn't swatched yet. This is where I keep the swatches of absolutely all my paints. So all my yellows, all my greens, purples, blues, everything is in here. If I ever need to know what colors I want to use for a certain thing, they are in here. And those colors I swatched and still need to go in here then this is my box with handmade watercolor paints i am still waiting on some paints so the palette you see is a little bit crooked i'm still waiting on some paints from star kiwi colors so these colors are hers this is from creative studio creative clouds this is from Violet Connie, and she doesn't make paints anymore. These these two rows are from Quartz Creations, which is based on gemstones and minerals. And this is from KMS Watercolors, which I'm not super happy about, but I'll just keep them in there. These top ones are from Shimmer Drops Paints, and they're amazing. And then this drawer, what do we have here? Palettes. Of course, not clean ones. Some that I make myself as well with air dry clay. And this one is my Raven palette, but it's cracking. And for some reason, the thing is flexible. I don't know, maybe I didn't let it dry. Maybe it's the stuff that I put on top that reacted. This drawer has wood brushes and pipettes. Uh, in here is some watercolor paint tubes that are on the cheaper side, but still very good from Eralda Di Polo. I think that's only available in Australia. And then in here is all the expensive paints. So we have Data Rani, Aquafine, there's some Art Spectrum, there is Holbein paints that I really, really love, and some Daniel Smith, I think, too. Some Takaganze paints. I have not done anything with that on my second channel yet. I will. And this is my little travel case. So if I want to go anywhere, and I want to take something with me to paint. It fits a small sketchbook. It fits one like these, fits in there, and I can just pick it up and go. So on one side, it has this pouch where I can keep all my pencils, erasers. Here I can keep my pens. It has a double pocket there. And then in here, I've got a little sketchbook that I can take for traveling and some washi tape. And when I zip open the other side, I've got some tissue paper there and I could even put more pens in there if I wanted to. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to order your own because they're really, really good. Here is all the empty tins and palettes, which is now much easier with that. I'm keeping them just in case I want to pass them on to someone. Moving up, this 
it's not super exciting except for this one. This is like what I got from my friend Pixie Sticks. It's her little creation that she made out of clay. Some cosplay I ordered, some of the the um, monster clay from the Yosas box. This does not harden, so I won't use that. This is Scopy, my pasta machine. Hello! My pasta machine sits here. This is a craft mat by Tim Holtz. You can also get barbecue sheets. I will leave a link in the description box below. This is just an empty pouch. But I've had it for a while. I think it's cute. I use it for theater if I have to do some stuff for on the front of house. And um, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Hermione's bag. And that box over there has some stuff in it that is my personal stuff that I want to turn into a journal. I will not go through that. And then here have, we have another chest of drawers. This is my big pencil case. My big pencil case with lots of pencils, obviously. I have mostly Derwent pencils. I have one set of, set of Prisma colors that I got a, I think I got points from Smart Art and I ordered them with the points, so. There's that, and um, more Derwent came in the box. These came in the box as well. These are from Bonita. I think I got given these by my husband, I think. And then these Derwent pencils are, I think already like at least 10 years old. Then underneath that we have some charcoal pencils. It says charcoal, but it actually just has normal pencils and some more normal pencils and a graphite set by Fred Castell. This is another pencil set by Derwent. I do like those pencils. They were in the Smart Art box and very old Brunzel color pencils. I think this box is about 20 years old. I received it, I think from my, from my mom in Holland at some point and they're still going strong. They're used, obviously. These have some very good color payoff. The next one has all kinds of stuff in it. So we have some pit artist pens, some liquid pencils, some calligraphy pens, mark, uh, this, these are liners, liner pens, and more liner pens that are still in the boxes, and some random highlighters and other pens. This one has Sharpies, permanent markers, and Metallic markers, some watercolor markers, and art crayons. We have some palette knives, some pens, some distress crayons, and there is more markers underneath that. Then up here we have a pen holder. This is a, um, a folder with ephemera. There's a lot in there. I won't go through it. There's just paper and stuff in there. This is by drawing board that I can put on my desk. This is my scoring board. This is a um, embossing mat. This is my cutting machine thing. This thing has, oh, that's more printed papers and ephemera that I use for those journals. And these are just a bunch of papers. So this is manila folders, some cardstock, some cheap drawing papers that I use for journals, but they're perfect for that. And some more of my artwork and a, uh, a clipboard. These have stickers and all that kind of stuff in it that I got from get for Patreon rewards from other creators. And this is a bunch of stuff that is from Dumbledore's office that I still need to sort out. <laughs> so, yeah. Moving on to this part. Well, let's go through this first. Here is a little corner that has some large paper rolls, some bug spray, because you never know when you're going to find a spider in Australia. Uh, this is a tripod and some chipboard for my journals. My makeup box. We won't go through that. And a camera down there. And there's also a I think there is a, a heat gun down there as well. Then on top of here we have some signet lights. I bought these because I thought I needed them. I don't right now, but I might in the future, so I'm just keeping them. My sewing machine, 
This can be used for journals, for miniatures, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's just sitting here. Some audiobooks from the library that I need to return. It says Sculpey on there, but it doesn't have Sculpey in there. This one is currently empty because I had some markers and I just reshuffled everything. This has some embossing folders. I'm currently also selling these diamond acetate sheets in my Etsy store if you want to make windows for your miniatures, just in case you didn't know yet. And I make them on my big shop machine. Then this is some stuff that I just, I don't know, I was tidying up. I need to fix that for my daughter. And these are more die cut things that I can use for miniatures. This box has a lot of papers in there and I normally dig through here if I want to add ephemera and that kind of stuff to journals. I keep little baggies and wrapping papers that I like. This is one of the journals I made and there are some sketchbooks in there. Not much is in there. I don't really use sketchbooks all that often. Look at. And this is a journal that my friend Lori made for me. And here's another botanical journal that I made for myself. And that's a flower press. Then I won't open these drawers. It has a light box in there and some A3 papers. And that's about it, really. Some brushes that I need to clean. There's my other brushes that are clean. So these are brushes that I use for dry brushing and things I don't really care about that my brushes get ruined. These are my good watercolor brushes. And these ones are just the larger brushes, really. And these drawers, I got these two units recently from Ikea because I wanted to redo the studio. So my husband can stream there now and I have this space for me. So we have a shared space here, a bag with all kinds of other paper bags in there that I, that we got from stores when they, you know, Uber Eats, they deliver stuff and you get paper bags at stores and those things. These papers come from this journal here and uh, I can reuse them in other journals. A patron of mine from France sent me these Fr French papers and then underneath here we have some tea dyed papers and a ream of paper that is still closed and underneath there as well. This drawer has all kinds of tech stuff in there. This one has a, um, there's a little pottery wheel one here. I tried to use it and it's ding dang hard to use that thing. A desk fan for summer, a little desk vacuum thing, some cables and whatnot. A square reader for when I do markets or even when people pick up their products here and I can just let them pay my card. This is a tripod and my little spinning table, stream cam. This is a, a bag of grout, but I didn't know where else to put it and some air dry clay. And these are old computer parts, by the way. Then these two drawers underneath have a mix of wooden items. So there can be new stuff in here. There can be old stuff in here. There can be stuff from thrift stores in there, all kinds of things. These are just some canvases I got at Smart Art. This is from Bunnings, just some, um, I think they're teapot coasters or something like that, or pot coasters. Thrift store, some houses, a little air wooden air balloon, a book box with stuff in it. Some frames I got at the thrift store as well. That's it for that one. And this one has similar items. So at Kmart in Australia, they have these pedal boards, thrift store, got two of those, got a little mimic chest. This was at the kids section, that's the Matryoshka dolls. There's some paint boards in there. I am going to use these for the common rooms. Long French plugs for something. So there's that, two drawers of wooden items. Moving on to the next one. This drawer has all my ribbons. Seriously, I did not collect this overnight. This is a collection from like over 10 years. There's all kinds of stuff in here from normal ribbons to a lot of pom-poms with journals, um, textures, sari silk. This drawer has my lace in it, so lace ribbon. All lace ribbons. This bag has felting supplies, needle felting, lace, 
lots and lots of lace more lace i love lace using lace on my journals i used to i need to use it more because you know i don't use it often enough these two bottom drawers have mainly landscaping supplies in there for miniatures so i found this the other day this is paper bark from a paper bark tree and it's just a very interesting texture it feels very soft and it almost feels like fabric it's it's unreal how this feels this is just old bags with uh kind of rough plant types i've got some coasters here to make into pin boards at some point so in here it's mainly got these jars at the bottom they're just jam jars and whatnot jars that i uh, use for terrain pieces and dried plants so that's it for this corner of the room. When we move this way, we have this trolley and this is my kind of lifeline. This is where all my most important tools live. What do we have here? We have a heat gun that I don't use as often anymore because I have a hair dryer sitting here now as well, which I prefer because it doesn't get as hot. You can kind of control the temperature with that. This one has one setting and that's it. I know it's bright pink, I know. Pliers, this is a um, sharpener, glues, scissors, and a rear a micro box with drills, sticky tape, some extension bits for my Dremel, isopropyl alcohol that I need to replace because it's nearly empty, a duster. This thing is so handy because it extends and you can just dust everything off if you make a mess. Glue gun cartridges, that's my small glue gun. And this is my newer big glue gun, this thing that's sitting here. It is by Bosch and it's a really good thing. Corn flour for working with polymer clay. It's a circle thing. How do you call that? A circle thing. A mat for um, embossing. Baby wipes, lifesaver. I normally have popsicle sticks in there, but my daughter keeps stealing them for some reason for her craft some emery boards some um, blue tack uh, magic eraser you never know what you need to magically erase some knives a swivel knife and this is a clip for bay it's a paint scraper some punches and a compass moving on down Around the side, we have some tape, some rubber bands, a towel. So at the back of this thing, I keep all these little towels just in case I need them. These are clean, by the way, so I can just grab them whenever I need them. We have some water spray there. This is my Dremel. I can just plug in whenever I want. Some rulers that I can tear paper with. And behind this towel, just take this off for now. This is a um, a paper distressor, so you can distress the pages. In here we have all kinds of acrylic paint. It's just simple craft, Kaiser color, Kaiser craft acrylic paint. I know you cannot really get this stuff in America, but in America they have plaid or folk art, and that's much better than this, I can tell you that. Some sanding blocks, a stapler, twine, uh, toothpicks, more paper clips, Q-tips. More towels, bigger towels, that like the one that I have in front of here. I pick these up at the thrift store because they don't have to be new. Tin foil, hook and loop dots, and some pouches that I can use for something. So that's this trolley. Then let's have a look what's on my desk. I just moved these books from over there. So let's move them out of the way. This is for a project I'm currently working on. I'm not telling you what it is yet. Then we have my little pink cat. Yes, it is pink. It's a very soft pink. I thought it was cute. These are two pointy tools, craft knives, dotting tools, and a lot of tweezers and a ruler. So these are the tools I use most often and it's just sitting on my desk or in the trolley somewhere around there. This is a tray with glues. I have, I think this is Gorilla Wood glue. This is just some plain old water. Some Fabri-Tac glue, more Fabri-Tac glue. This is watered down PVA glue, toothpicks, super glue, and some more PVA glue. So lots of glue in here, but 
I use it like various glues for various projects. A notepad, because that's always there. Some scrollers in I wanted to go through. This box has stuff in there that I use a lot. Pencils, a watercolor pen, another notepad, bone folders, another craft knife, some liner pens. That's it really. This box normally sits in the corner there. Has my Harry Potter matchbook stuff in there. So these are the matchbox templates that I printed. And this is a one of those a5 cardstock pads and then underneath here i have all these bits and pieces of cardstock and cardboard and foam for my matchboxes so this is the only box i need for my cardboard for my matchboxes everything that i need should be in here so there's that so now that you've seen everything on my desk this is my setup this is where normally what i'm holding right now clips in and we can turn this one on, I think only, oh no, also now. I thought only when my computer is on, but it also goes on now. And then we have that big light over there that I use as well. Got this one recently, so the lighting should be a little bit better in my videos. That's a candle that I recently got. It's patchouli and vertiver. Uh, my computer, my, this is my Harry Potter diorama stuff i won't open it because it's patreon exclusive only i need to scan very very soon this is my sketchbook that i recently started and this is where i sketched out all my potion bottles and ideas and underneath here is my drawing tablet so i made this little cover with the pen sitting there so it is protected from dust and the pen I like to use these pens, by the way. They are uh, Unibol I Fine. My keyboard, that is a little box that a friend made me. Snape. I'm not a big fan of those pop figures, but I do like Snape. Quoth, that's my Raven. My water bottle. My mic with my headphones. My mug on Slytherin coasters, of course. I have them handmade, they're all different. It's resin on wood. Then in here is my, that's my chair by the way. That is my bin and my paper bin. And this trolley is for packaging orders. It's not very exciting. It's got my um, wax stuff there, some tape, some tubs that I got from tidying up everything. Some more, these are um, wax, my stamp. Oops, my stamp. There's another stamp in there. Twine, envelopes, stickers. Let's move on to this monstrosity here where you will see more of the miniature stuff. Let's start at the top. So this is a pack of stuff that I need to send to my mom. This is what I'm giving away for students at a local school. So I did a miniature course thing at a local school here for 11 and 12 year olds and they are making miniatures and dioramas for book week which is other worlds so they were inspired by my matchboxes which is really cool so i've got six prizes to give away these are ma mainly um smart art art supplies that i'm going to be giving away to the kids this is a piece of fabric and some banner stuff that i'm working on for my little one because she's three and completely obsessed with nightmare before christmas uh, I'm not complaining. These tubs have, well, this one has some coins and these have beads in them that I got at thrift stores. Then there's some, you know, things that I can use for arting and crafting. Rice flour, this is PVA glue and water. This plaster of Paris. Powders that I use for my art and craft, but I don't necessarily want to keep them in bags, so I just store them over there. That's just some dried eucalyptus leaves and two of the boxes I created. Don't that, that this yeah, I don't know what that is. That is um it's good for the sound. I would not put this in my own house. We're renting, so that's why. 
This box has prints that I don't sell in my shop anymore, but you might see them as freebies when you order something. This is some stuff that I'm going to send to my friend Jen. Same as this one, and this is a Harry Potter book that I use for research. Then here, I will go through what is in here. And what it is, is I've got some twine, some papers, some made books, and some not made books yet, some fabrics that I can use for the books. The random pieces one has seriously random pieces that I find around the house or are off cuts. This is from some fans. These are from the, the lights from the Dumbledore office, but you know, maybe I can use them for something else, who knows. Um, this is from, I think, whoop, it's in the bin now. That one <laughs> was from um, like the tube that it sits on a paintbrush to protect them. This is from Egg Cartons, which is just an odd shape. Some random box, uh, some random bits and pieces in here. This is another box with pieces I don't know where to, to otherwise store. Flowers, umbrellas, pegs, wooden pegs, bells, skulls, hearts, mm. cocktail sticks. Um, eggs, Easter eggs, little flower petals. This box is called jewelry findings. There's some other stuff in here too. So there's some magnets, some yes indeed larger jewelry findings, some um, of these split pens, hardware, more hardware, chains. Most of this stuff seriously comes from thrift stores though. And more split pens. This is miniature stuff that I bought. There's some wings. These little bits and pieces, there are hinges, puppets, buttons. If you see anything in here or in any any of my uh, things that you're wondering where I got it from or what it is, let me know in the description box below or not in the description box, in the comments down below. So I can link you to it because I probably forget links. And this is Tim Holtz, I think. These are book corners that I um, use on one of the potion bottles as well. Christmas trees and wreaths. Um, I have this box sitting in there as well, which has just some artwork from various people in there. And I'm keeping this fully in my future studio when we buy a house. I want to put some of these pieces up on my wall. Then the last big box has some handmade pieces in there. So these are with done with rice clay and uh, some molds that I'll show you later. These are some um, tissues with the, the, little, the little squares that I made into tiles. A little book that I made a while ago. Some other bits that I made a while ago. This is from last year, Inktober, or Birtober, I should say, and some Hexies that I can make into blankets at some point. And then what else is in there? Some pins and clips. Um, a board that and those boards fit on these trolleys. So I have another one there. So these are the book boxes that I use for my book box. So that is how that stores. And each of these cost me five dollars at my local hardware store. So they're pretty good because you can also take all the the dividers out. This is where I keep my stuff for my Etsy store. So there's journals in here and ephemera packs. It has a little journal in there too, by the way. And yeah, that's just all the journals. And in here, oops, are the prints and the little tiny mini books and more of the ephemera packs down there. These four drawers, I haven't redone in quite some time, so. This one has tools. It basically has all kinds of stuff in it. Eyelets. There's eye droppers in there too. Hair clips. Um, drill tools. A pet hairbrush, but you can brush uh, uh, yarn for doll hair as well. This one has glitters and mica powders and all that kind of stuff in there, like real glitter, glitter. Prolex set and some of these magicals and some of these mica powders and then i've got more glitter stuff and 3d pearl stuff in there more glitters then this one says ink um it had all my inks in there but now it just has those ink sprays and these uh ink 
pads on there, the sponges that go with them and some of the alcohol inks there. And then in here, pastels, loads and loads of pastels. And then here we have a set of the marble stuff that I got from Smart Art. I never did a video on that because I did not like it at all. Moving on to the base here. Oh, we still have some thrift store stuff and this box is heavy. All right, I'll show you some bits and pops that are in here. This basket, this is not what belongs on there, but this is a basket, a metal basket. I sometimes pick up these frames because I think they're really cool. I got this salt and pepper grinder set. Um, if you know, so they were 50 cents each. If you know Alice Madness Returns, you know there is a pepper grinder um, weapon in there. And that's what I wanted to do with them, but I don't know how many people will be interested. So for now, they're just going to sit in this box. This thing I got at the market, um, not sure what to do with it. So yeah. If you, uh, if you know anything, let me know. A very tall lady, she's ceramic and yep, four bucks I paid for her. A bookend, I think I have another bookend. There's the other one, it's a bit smaller. Teddy's day out. It doesn't look like he's out, but. A friend of mine got me this one uh, for my birthday last year, not this year, but last year and she looks like an Annabelle doll to me, and he also gave me some polymer clay with it. So perhaps at some point this will be an Annabelle doll. In that same box, he got me this. And if you don't like creepy teddy bears, look away now. I warned you. That thing. Okay, you can look again. Here are some more frames from my friend Jen. Put it in here because I had no idea where else to put it. There's another frame. This is not secondhand either, but it's nice and ornate. So I'm just keeping it in here with the other frames. Um, yep. Don't know what I paid for it. No idea. Probably two to four bucks or something. Then here's the other cat. The other one was not really well received. So I'll probably never do this one. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This is the other cat. Then we have this thing. I don't. Uh, three dollars I paid for this one. A um, chalice. I thought at some point I might turn it into something cool. A cool chalice. I found this clock. It was eight dollars. It's made from resin. My friend Jen. Yep. Sent me this thing. Oh boy. He is uh, one ugly beast. And this one has acrylic paints in it. So it's some pouring acrylics. We have some acrylic sets, uh, crackle acrylics, more acrylic sets, and some mixed media spray, Inca gold stuff, folk art, deco art. But most of my acrylic paints live in that trolley. Moving back up, moving from this part to this part. So in here, we have a lot of random stuff. Um, so we kind of landed at the mini, mini stuff here. So we have some, um, some um, globes from last year's Christmas. This is from Dumbledore's office that didn't fit. Some stones or pebbles that can be used as cabochons for eyes. This baggie has a lot of these little rivets and rhinestones in it. These are things I found at the local market. I have one large one that I found at the thrift store. And we have a fence. And these are actually coasters, but I think they would do nicely as a rug in some kind of miniature. And some skulls over there in the bucket. Again, the same with this one, it's random. Uh, some coasters, some wooden coasters, wooden, they're actually ornaments, but I can probably put some mini stuff on there. Some other coasters, wooden coasters. This is something that my father-in-law made for me. He is a wood turner by trade. And he made this little cup. This is real wood. And this little bowl. And there's another bowl in there. They are absolutely stunning. And um, 
Yeah, he doesn't do that now, which is a bit of a shame. But this is a beautiful miniature set of little balls that's in this handmade little box. We have some spideys, where are some more of these um, cocktail forks. There we go. There's some hardware in there, some hinges for boxes, some curlish. You know that I use one of these curlish in Dumbledore's office for the grate in the fireplace that could be used next to a uh, staircase. In this one, we have a lot, a lot of bottles. Metal boxes and a lot of these molds that I can use for miniatures. Underneath that is some matchbox stuff. So in here are miniatures, actual miniatures, as in D&D &D miniatures. So most of the miniatures are given to me by Blandco, Caleb. And he was just destashing some of his stuff and sent them over to me. We have a cloud giant here, a beholder. Again, if you want to see me create anything with these, let me know in the comments down below so I know what you guys want to see. Um, Gnomes of Ticatrion. They are really, really cool. I was actually thinking of putting them into a mining kind of setting. Gnomes are one of the oldest races that live in the giant underground factories. They build machines that move by magic and also terrifying walking mecha drills that they use to explore caves and to fight the intruders. So that would be, that's a setting on its own. I've got some random bits and bobs in there. And some that my friends recently sent me are in here too. And a gnome in his little wife. And some um, five feather dragons, I think. And then here we have some random little miniatures, like this uh, little cat, little dormouse. Then in this one we have a drider, a astrological orrery. Then something I'm really excited about is these cats and catacombs cats. I still want the other set, so this is volume two. I still want to get volume one. Um, maybe at some point and then make a little setting for those uh, got these um, what are they called night hunt and paint set this comes with paint so I thought it was a nice set I thought the creatures were really cool so that's why I got it this is I paid that for that myself and I paid for this one myself too the night of old Ilt Iltharis Guardians, and these look really, really awesome. So it comes with a set of cards as well. What's this? Oh, I really like this guy. Um, he is a an orc with a cloak. Okay, by Spellcrow. I love Spellcrow miniatures. They're really cool. This is a uh, Nature Warden. Mushrooms by Dark Haven Bones. And in this last one, I keep my wet palette and two of those um, pliers and all my mini paints. Don't have too many of those, but um, I have plenty. Plenty enough to do whatever I need to do for miniature painting. I don't do it that often, but. Moving on to an empty drawer and another empty drawer. I did some tidying up the other day, so. That is why they're empty. And this one has all my light stuff in it. So mostly I use these ones. Occasionally these ones. And this was just, you know, these are colored and I didn't know until I got home. And some fairy lights, which are way too bulky. And yeah, another one of those. And um, these are also micro LEDs, but there's 80 of them. So that's a lot. That is my uh, my light drawer. This one has all of my clay stuff. So this top drawer has some tools that I hardly use, but occasionally. This is the baking tray that I put all my polymer clay in. So I, I put my clay on the glass plate. That's what I built my clay on. 
my project on and then I put it in this tray and into the oven and according to the baking instructions I then bake my clay and underneath that as you can see there's more those glass plates for larger projects that just go in the oven just like that some armature wire some thinner wire and some of these plates that Bonita sent me and some uh, circle shapes polymer clay so if i want to use my clay i just grab this drawer and i put it on my desk because this is all i need and the only extra thing i need would then be the um the glass tray and the armature wire if i need it but this is super scopoly original which is also in here if i've um if i had too much of it i'll just put it in there the um the jezza tools these are the tools that I came in the Jezza box. I hardly use them. I mainly use what's in here. So my most used tools are this dental exploring tool and this ball stylus tool and also a smaller ball stylus that I can't find at the moment. This one has some other clays in there. So also polymer clay but colored clay. So these are just the normal Sculpey 3 clays. And then we also have some Super Sculpey Firm. I have this Super Sculpey Living Doll Clay. So Cernit Doll Clay. It's cheaper clay, some translucent clay, some leather effect clay, and milliput. Next one is a very random box. This box, this box, this box contains balsa wood. So balsa wood is the thin, lightweight wood that uh, this box was just good for it and uh, all the little bits and pieces that are offcuts basically are stored in there then what else do we have in the drawer a mini book box the jazza roll thing with more tools that i don't use i don't want to kind of throw them away because they're still good tools in here we have a box with i think there's just paper in there just scrap paper these are little canvases that i can use as a miniature uh, base so this is the one that i used for snape's sitting room shadow boxes that i thought that would be cool for miniatures as well we have a box with pop sticks this is another frame with a it's another shadow box some fabric paints uh, and some pop sticks. This box has some fun stuff in it. So in here are all the stickers I have for sale in my Etsy store. So they're just stored like that in individual little sections. And then this one is the fun one. And that one is also a fun one. So sometimes I don't know how to reach people, but this lady, Nandy McCormick from Deltona, Florida, sent me this box and she sent me 31 plus 14 plus 250 plus another 205 little books and i am so grateful for this because this is going to save me a lot of time making all my miniature dioramas thank you nandy for sending me this i think all the people from this box i've already thanked in a uh, post so we have this one and i know that if you see this and you know this is yours then um you know who you are and um, i won't show you all the books yet because these will show up in the dioramas more books in there my almost neighbor Cabinet of Curiosities. So that's where I'm keeping all your mail. And um, I'm always very, very happy and excited to receive new parcels. Because I love happy mail. Who doesn't? These two boxes have a lot of miniature materials in them. So here we have some foam, some felt texture papers that I use for my dioramas, sponges. And then this one has random stuff. So this is all the, uh, the the plastics for the windows. I can use normal acetate as well, but this is just recycling materials. Plus they have interesting shapes sometimes. Um, an old Barbie, some of these little bottles. What else is in there? Some of this stuff that looks like snow. Then uh, the last bits of 
drawers. In here we have some wood and with wood I mean popsicle sticks and little skewers and that kind of stuff and also pen uh, wood. And this is a very exciting drawer. It's the fabric drawer. So here I keep all the fat quarters and fat squares. That's what you call them when you buy them at the shop. Fat flats. Flat fats. Okay, so I've moved the box onto my desk so I can go through some of them. So there are some florals and some spooky ones with little ghosties. And galaxy, spiders, some Harry Potter ones. These are licensed, by the way. What I will never do is use licensed materials or licensed stuff in my journals. Pumpkins. Florals. Florals are mainly for miniature um, couches and all that kind of stuff. Umbrellas, anchors, florals. Got some fabrics here, some smaller fabrics. These ones, these ones are from a thrift store and they're perfect for carpet because they're so, so soft and um, not very thick as in when it comes to the fibers. Same for these and these are just from a thrift store as well, but they're uh, fabric swatches from the shop. So also fabric swatches and some florals. I think I also have some leather stuff in here from, yeah, so there are swatches as well. It's from shops. So that is my fabric drawer, but there's more. There's more fabric, don't you worry. And moving one down from that is my glues and fillers drawer. So with fillers, I mean wool filler, quick dry wool poly filler, um, multi-purpose filler, some gesso, some mud hodge, some glycerin that I use for the potions. This is a good glue and the crop glues that I use most often. Then there is here some water effects as well that is not resin but it, it dries clear because so I don't like to work with resin but that would be a good solution and this is PVA glue PVA craft glue there's some more hobby and craft glue here you know you get you get it this is just my glue and fillers drawer this one oh is my paper drawer now there's a lot of papers in here I collected this over the course of the last 15 years. Yes, I'm old. Even 20 years. So people got gifted this to me. There's some whole paper packs in this still. There's also some just loose papers because sometimes I just like to break up my papers and put them in the color category. So, so that's that. It's a very heavy drawer and I don't use it, I use it as often as I should really. We'll get there. It's another excuse to not buy anymore. This drawer is meant for doll making and that kind of thing. So how I get these faux furs is mainly from thrift stores. So this one is from a jacket that was just a jacket collar, but it has a decent chunk of this faux fur on it and um, it's very soft. And if I just take this fabric off the back, I have some faux fur and I don't pay nearly as much as I would for new faux fur at a at a craft store. Same for this one. This was, I think, a jacket. Or it was even just this. I think it was a jacket. But yeah, um, I killed Cookie Monster. It's faux fur as well. And uh, maybe for an art duel someday. We have some pink too, for all you pink lovers out there. Don't worry, I don't have real fur in here. It's all faux fur. And this is from one of those, you know, uh, pom-poms. And it fell apart. I had it hanging on my bag and it fell apart. And then it ended up like this. So I'm keeping it. Some other stuff in here is this. This came in a craft kit for my daughter. And I was like, what do I use this for? So I put it in here maybe for, I don't know, some interesting stuff at some point. This is faux fur yarn. 
So it's made from polyester. And I've got two of those. For hair for dolls, I got this stuff. Unicorn hair, more unicorn hair. It's this red hair. Maybe for a gypsy at some point. And then I have some... <laughs> This is my, uh, this was my Hagrid scale. He's 185 in real life, 1 meter 85 centimeters. And uh, this is what he, what his size is in miniature. And this is what I used for, um, to make Hagrid's hut, to make sure I got the scale right. And some more floral wire there or armature wire. And this is batting that I can use inside the dolls and some buttons. We have more fabrics. So these are the fabrics I use for my journals. Um, I could probably also use something like this for flooring in doll houses. But yeah, this is mainly what I use for journals. And uh, they're very ornate looking fabrics. And some more spooky fabrics here as well. And they're bigger, so that's why I'm storing them here. This box has more papers in it. This is what I use in my journals, but also to wrap parcels. Uh, well, not parcels, but what goes inside the parcels. So if you order a journal from me, you will be most likely getting it in something like this. And then there's some scrapbook papers there as well. The next one up has cloth that I use for some of my journals as well. And I sometimes also use it for the covers. And then last in this room, but certainly not least, is these four boxes and I will show you what's in them. So a while ago, one of you sent me a D-stash box with mainly these four colors in it of all the houses, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Gryffindor for the common rooms. And I'm very, very grateful for that because that made me think, oh, maybe I should separate them and put them in their respective house boxes. So that's what I've done. So every time I find something that is related to any house, I put that in their respective boxes. So Ravenclaw has got its own box and it's mainly blue, obviously. Then we have Slytherin, mainly greens. And I might not use all of it. I might just, you know, use some of it and then have a make a um, Slytherin inspired journal with the leftover fabrics, etc. Um, because I can't brand it, but I can use the colors to make it look like a house journal. Then Hufflepuff has all yellows and greens as well. And also, like if I find little things that might fit in the in those houses, I'll put them in here as well. There's even little books in there already. And Gryffindor. It's mainly red. So as you have seen now this and the books, there is probably still some stuff that can be put in the houses. So you feel free if you want to send me anything, you can, even for future dioramas, etc. I am always grateful. And these are going to be used for the common rooms. My address is in the about section on my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this studio tour. I hope you're back next week for the book, AKA miniature storage room tour as well. Now go like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. I hope you're next. Let's go. Hello, my lovely ravens. What's up? What's up?